Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hey everyone, what's going on? Norwich City Central here. This is my match day experience for our game up against Millwall. Norwich City have the chance to go top of the championship table over the international break. Uh, but it's not going to be an easy game. Millwall uh, are going to be a tough team. And I spoke about this in my match preview. I think this could be a potential banana skin this game. I think Millwall play very physical football and uh, their fit last season we struggled often against physical teams. We struggled against Millwall at the den, didn't we? And their phys physicality could prove to be a problem. But nevertheless, I think I'm, I'm still confident Millwall haven't won at Carrow Road in 50 years. I'm hoping that curse isn't going to be breaking, uh, broken today. It's going, to be a t yeah, it's going to be a tough game, but I do think we can pull through and let's hope we, we um, start from where we left off against... Um, Sheffield Wednesday, a 4-0 win in which we had brilliant in the second half. And a stat before I start this match day experience, Norwich City have scored 24 goals in the championship this season. Four have been in the first half and 20 have been in the second half. So, you know, we're, we're a second half team, but hopefully we, we can start from where we left off against Sheffield Wednesday and um, win this game comfortably. But really looking forward to this one. Uh, I'm going to be in, in the Barkley, uh, blocky, so I'll be showing the atmosphere in there. It's going to be a really good game, so follow me around. And let's hope we can beat Millwall and climb to the top of the championship table. some of whom join us here today. We would also like to take this opportunity to show our solidarity with our friends at Leicester City after the recent tragic event at the King Power Stadium. Please join us now and be upstanding for two minutes of silence, which will start and end on the referee's whistle. During the silence, the last post will be played by Eddie Baker.
City won and Millwall nil. Very unlucky there. That was very unlucky. Shocks marking. There's another set piece goal which is done the same, and that's kind of been our downfall so far defensively this season. Yeah, that has. It's always set piece, same there for a couple of years, really. Yeah. yeah. Just, I think we played okay though. It's just that kind of final ball which has kind of let us down. You see how many players have got set behind the ball? It's, it's literally they've got two men constantly on the striker. Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously we had that offside goal. Was it onside or? It's tough to say from where well, it's tough to say from where we were, but uh, and was that a penalty at the end? Exactly. Yeah. Do you reckon we can get back in this? So I mean, I mean, Pookie's making some good runs. Wendy's looks lively. I mean, yeah, we're in this. I think we can do. I'm a, a score prediction. Oh, yeah. Score prediction. I'm mean, actually before a score prediction. Millwall. Millwall's away record is shocking. So originally um, I said three 0 but now it's not Two one Norwich. Yeah. Two one. Hopefully we can get back in this game. It's going to be tough, but. Hopefully we can make a point here. Come on, the yellows. Come on, let's go. Second half's about to start, and um, we've seen the first half highlights, and I cannot believe Christoph Zinnemann was offside. Um, we've seen the highlights back. Christoph Zinnemann put the ball in the net, but it was deemed offside. It was never offside. Um, unless there was a foul in there, but it was never offside. I think we've been hard done by the ref here. Um, it, it, I'm struggling to see how Christoph Zinnemann's goal was ruled out, but... Second half's about to start, let's hope Norwich get the win because I think we've been hard done by in this half. I think we've played the better football. Yes, Millwall are organised, but I think we've been hard done by. Come on, the yellows. <laughs>